Hello my friends, hope you're having a wonderful start to 2014. I happened to film myself while I got ready for the New Year's party. Thought you might be interested in seeing the Get Ready With Me video. So here we go. Let's do this. Happy New Year! <laughs> I'm starting by applying a little bit of lip balm on my lips so that by the time you're done with the whole face makeup, my lips will be moisturized. Now I'm applying a little bit of BB cream all over my face and I'm using this as my moisturizer just because you know for that extra little glow underneath the foundation. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of primer all over the places that tend to crease on me like I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes, over my eyelids, on my moustache area, on my forehead all over and just blend it out. Now I'm gonna take a little water spray bottle and a fluffy brush and wet this brush and then I'm gonna apply my fail safe foundation onto the brush directly and stamp it all over my face as you can see and then I'm just gonna slowly but efficiently <laughs> blend it out. I'm just gonna take my time over here. I was running a little late but still you know when your foundation is not blended your look is not really complete. I'm gonna layer a little bit extra foundation right over the areas that I need a little bit more coverage which happens to be around my mouth area and a little bit just on my forehead. Of course now take it down your neck and your jawline and your hairline and all those places. Now use your concealer to cover up your you know under eye area because of course you're gonna be getting out at 12 in the night so Definitely you're gonna be tired. I mean, how, how many of you can actually stay up that late? It's, I usually find it hard, but this time I was actually excited, so I was fine. But of course the dark circles, they just come with it. Using a regular tissue paper, I'm gonna blot my face just to take away all that extra shine. And then I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows because seriously no look is complete without having a properly groomed eyebrow. So this Milani brush actually comes handy because it has a spoolie with it. So all you have to do is just draw in your brows and fill it in. Now I'm gonna start my eye look and for that I'm gonna use a little bit of pink eyeshadow. Using a blending brush I'm gonna apply it right to my crease, just to the outer corners of my crease. And then of course blend it out. Then using a dark brown eyeshadow, you've seen me do this a million times, I'm gonna apply it right across my crease. Take it back and forth and blend it out. I'm gonna take the gold colors in the same palette and I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my eyelid just haphazardly all over my eyelid with the same blending brush. I'm not even changing the blending brush out, just using the same thing. Taking a little bit of black eyeshadow, I'm gonna apply it to the outer corners of my eyes because you know we are going for New Year's party. We need it a little bit dark and deep and sultry. I'm gonna extend this into a little cat eye shape, pulling out the outside corners just a little bit. Now of course it was time for me to line my eyes. I don't always line my eyes but that day I just felt like it. Here I'm actually padding on a little bit of glue on top of my eye look. I'm not directly applying it so that you know my eyeshadow is not disturbed. I'm just dabbing it with my fingers on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna take my glitter and I'm gonna pat it right on top of that glue. Again, I've gotta be careful here because I've got my foundation already on so I can't really have a, a lot of fallouts. Carefully patting my finger into the lid and then carefully placing it over my eyelid wherever I applied my glue. Soon after this, I dropped the glitter all over the place. I... Okay, Frosty says Happy New Year to y'all. Got my glitter on, it's sparkling. I'm gonna take a little bit of black eyeshadow again on an angled eyeshadow brush 
and I'm gonna just smoke out my line. I didn't want a harsh eyeliner line on my eyelid, you know. And I'm gonna deepen my crease with the same angle brush and black eyeshadow. With the same blending brush that I've been using for this entire look, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is blended out. I'm gonna go back to the black, get it deep and dark once again. Now I'm gonna darken up my lower lash line again with the same brush, the same black eyeshadow, just darkening up the lower lash line. I just can't have enough of the festivity, so I'm gonna pop in a little bit of gold eyeliner pencil right into my waterline. And then of course, I need to have plenty of mascara on my lashes because I don't like wearing false lashes, so I just make sure I have coated every single hair on my lash line with mascara. It just turned 12 in Sydney and this is where my husband came to wish me as you just witnessed. I need to contour my face. Oh yeah, now it's time for a little bit of powdering up. I'm just powdering underneath my eyes and wherever I applied the concealer basically. So my forehead, my chin, I didn't really, but well, you know, whatever. A little bit of highlighter on top of my cheekbone and the center of my face really. Again the chin and the forehead and a little bit of glow goes a long way. With a lip liner I'm gonna line my lips just so that you know my lipstick will last a longer time and I have clean edges. With one of my favorite lipsticks that I own I'm gonna fill in my lips and this lipstick actually matches my dress that's why I picked this particular lipstick. I'm gonna let down my hair and I'm actually running late that's why I'm really trying to hurry up. Bit of I'm gonna slip in my headband right on top of my head and this is a hairstyle that I love to do a lot. It's quick, it's easy and it's really pretty. I'm just gonna pin down the hairband on my head so it doesn't move all night and then I'm gonna take sections around my face and roll it right onto the hairband. It kind of keeps the hairband in place and it also gives a very spirally effect, a Grecian goddess effect all over your head. Keep adjusting your pieces as and when you go around your head. So I'm just going on wrapping the hair all around my head, right into the hairband. I'm gonna fix it all up in the end and just spray it up with a little bit of hairspray. Happy New Year! We are pretty much done. Just adjust it and make sure it's all okay. I'm gonna wear these cute little earrings. And our face is really done, so let me change into my outfit now. We were initially going for a formal dinner kind of a party, so that's why I chose this semi formal cocktail dress from River Island. Of course, I'm gonna slip on my wedding ring and my watch. And that is all the accessory that I'm gonna wear for tonight. Just gonna keep it simple and you have less stuff to worry about for the rest of the night, right? Chose my wedding perfume as the perfume for the night. It is a Dior Shine perfume. I absolutely love it. What did you wear on New Year's Eve? Oh yeah, get it all around. A girl gotta have her sparkly shoes for New Year's Eve, right? Just slip into those little beauties and get out of the door. Oh wait, I need to first pose for you all. <laughs> because after all, this is a get ready with me video, right? Yep, so that is my completed look. My outfit, my hair, my makeup, the whole work. Happy New Year! <laughs> I've never done anything like this once again, so yeah. My hair which I took down halfway through the night actually and I threw the headband. I wanna cry, really. I wanna cry. Happy New Year guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.